Hey, welcome to the Puppet Tools 3.0 video walkthrough. My name is Greg Gunn, and I'm going to give you an overview of how the script works. Okay, let's get started. Copy and paste the .jsx bin file into the script UI panels folder on your machine. And then if it's open, restart After Effects. Run the script by going to Window in the menu and selecting the script name at the bottom. If you're running it for the first time, you'll be prompted for a license. So just copy and paste the license code and you're all set. This script does a few things, but at its core, it makes animating with the puppet tool much easier. Let's say you're rigging an arm. Now instead of twirling down all the sub effects to find the right pin, just press the pins to nulls button. And now you have null controllers, all with one click. To move a joint, just select the null and you're off to the races. Now let's talk options. I gave pins to nulls a handful of options to play with. You can activate or deactivate any of these options before you run the script, by checking or unchecking the boxes to the left. The first option is called Parent Chain. If activated, it'll parent the null controllers together in the order you specify. So for instance, you can automatically parent the wrist to the elbow and the elbow to the shoulder, and they will all rotate together in harmony. The second option is cleverly titled Null Size, and it does exactly what you think. It creates the null controllers at the size you specify, in pixels. Handy if you're working very big or very small. Up next is the master parent null option. This will create an extra null controller that all the others are parented to. Think of it as a global transform for your rig. You can reposition and rotate the whole arm or attach it to another part of the character. The last option is my favorite headache preventer. It's called lock and shy artwork. If checked, when you run the script, it will lock and shy the artwork layer so you don't accidentally select or move it later while you're animating. That about does it for pins to nulls. Let's move on. The Create IK feature is a new addition to the script, but you might be asking yourself, what is IK? IK stands for Inverse Kinematics, which is a complicated math equation you probably don't care much about. But it's also an interesting way to rig joints for a character. Let me explain. After Effects makes great use of forward kinematics, which means joint A drives joint B, which drives joint C. Imagine a person doing the robot dance. However, IK, does the exact opposite. Joint A and joint B's placement is determined by joint C, so it's kind of automatically calculated for you. Creating an IK setup is a single click away. Select three null controllers, starting with the end joint, a wrist or ankle for example, then click Create IK. Done. Make sure you select joints in the proper order, or you'll get some real funky results. For instance, select the wrist, then the elbow, then the shoulder. The Create IK feature was designed to be used with pins to nulls, but you don't have to. You can run it on any three nulls that you select. They don't have to be puppet driven. I'd like to take a moment and give a shout out to Dan Eberts and his brilliant math skills. He's responsible for the crazy expressions that drive this IK setup. So pop over to his website, motionscript.com to see some more fun After Effects math. The last part of this script is a loop maker. So let's say you have an animated loop like this guy. Select the layer, click layer to loop, and it'll loop the length of the comp. If you want to loop a certain number of times, type that into the text field. Otherwise, if left blank, it will loop forever. So that's it for the video walkthrough. If you have any questions, ideas, or a feature request, send me a tweet or a good old fashioned email if you want to. Thanks for watching.